So I got a question from one of my YouTube viewers about anxiety, failure, and fear. Now those are three big issues that I can't possibly tackle in a couple of minutes here in video. So I'm going to deal with those issues one at a time. But the first one, I'm going, to, I'll get in, I'll, I'm going to make a video personally about anxiety because I've suffered from anxiety off and on now for many years, and I kind of have my own way of dealing with that. I want to talk about failure. Failure seems to be the most important objective in a person's life these days. You constantly set yourself up with failure simply because of the way you think. First off, I am not some spiritual guru. I am not a guy who has an IQ of 300. I'm just a guy that makes videos like everybody other person on this fucking YouTube pl planet. And I can only offer you ideas. I can offer you perspectives. And maybe those ideas that I offer you, you could perhaps implement into your life and make them work for you. If they're relevant to your life, that's okay. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Here's the first thing that I tell people when they're in doubt of themselves. You are a neurotic individual by nature. We have conditioned the human brain to grasp much more of failure and unhappiness and uncertainty than we do with what actually makes us happy in our life. You have convinced yourself that you're going to fuck up before you even fuck up, which you do. For instance, you, you might have that huge crush on that beautiful fucking girl, man. And you just don't have the balls to go up there and talk to her. That's what you should do. You should go up there and talk to her. Because you're going to fuck up anyways. But you're going to learn something. You're going to learn something about yourself. You're going to see that, well, maybe if I would have given her a smile or gave her better eye contact, she might have responded to me. Instead, she says, oh, hey, get away from me. You're a fucking loser. But you're not a loser. What you're doing is you're learning from your failures. For all you Star Wars fans out there, what did Master Yoda tell Luke Skywalker, failure is the greatest teacher. Failure. I want you to embrace failure. I want you to kiss failure. I want you to walk and hold hands with failure. Because through each failure in your life, it's going to set you up for something better. You have to fail. You have to fail. Do you know how many times there was, a, there was this one rock group in England back in the early 1960s Every record company rejected them, and they said, there's no way in holy hell these guys are ever going to make it. They suck. I don't know why you would even want to have anything to do with them. They told the manager this. Two years later, that group from Liverpool came to the United States and blew the charts off the fucking world. That group was the Beatles. John Lennon talks a lot about failure in his songs. Listen to John Lennon, what he says. Especially in Working Class Hero, where he says, you can't re really function because you're so full of fear. The fear of failure. You've embraced it. You've convinced yourself that you do not have what it takes. Let me tell you something. You do have what it takes. You have what it takes to succeed because you've already failed. If you're going through hell, keep going. Do you remember who said that? Okay. I would encourage each and every one of you that no matter how bad things are, no matter how bad you seem to have this objective that no matter how hard I try, my failures are consistently a part of me. What it is doing is it is embracing you for your success. You have to go beyond the bounds. Because even though you may be sitting on that branch that's ready to crack, guess what? It's only a couple of feet off the ground. All the things that you have been afraid of in your life, how bad have they really been? Ask yourself that. What is holding you back? It's not your talents, it's not your ambitions, it's your fear of failure. You've embraced failure, you've convinced yourself that you cannot do it. When, in fact, you have everything inside you to have the life that you want. The happiness in your life does, is not destined by money or success or big cars or beautiful homes. The happiness in your life is what you want, is what you attract, is what you embrace, is what you think of when you're not so functioning full of fear and failure. I would encourage each and every one of you who watch my YouTube channel to stop for a moment and think about what it is that truly makes you happy on this planet. Because when you do that, you're going to find that, you know what, your, your, your fears and failures aren't as big as you think they are. Even if they are, even if they knock you off for a loop, you have to overstep that boundary to get where you need to go. You were born with everything you need to have the life that you want. 
But instead, you've embraced failure and fear where it chatters in your head constantly because you've conditioned yourself to think that you can't do anything no matter how hard you try, when in fact the opposite is true. What are you going to do today to change that? Are you going to just sit here and look at this dead field? Nature is the ultimate example of that. Nature comes back. It's alive. It's beautiful. And then, as you see in this video, look, it's dead. It dies. But it doesn't give up. It comes back in the spring. I will make a video again, and I will show you the green and beautiful landscape that is spring and summer. Now it's all brown and dead. It will come back, just like you come back. Do you understand, my friends? The most unique person on this planet is you. There's not another one like you. Embrace who you are. Embrace your challenges. Give fear a kiss on the lips. Give failure a kiss on the lips. Hold hands with them. Walk in the park with them. Confront them and look them in the eye and tell them to fuck off. Because you, my friend, have what it takes to have the life that you want. Done.